Welcome to Xamarin Perm Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement camera view in our Xamarin application. In our previous tutorial, we already implement the image capture using media plugin and Xamarin Essential Media Picker. But this camera view is different because in our previous tutorial, we noticed that our media plugin and the media picker opens our device camera after capturing the image it will returns as the media but here is the it's different how so the camera view is not a not under xamarin so we have to install the xamarin community toolkit inside the xamarin community toolkit the camera view option will be there xamarin community toolkit is a community version toolkit options here uh, we can find lot of apis so uh, inside the community toolkit we get the camera view so what is camera view using this camera view we can use this view to our any of the pages and inside the layout okay so here you can notice that here i am showing the camera view inside my content page and uh, this camera view uh, do Two things one is capturing the image and the capturing the video so here i am capturing the image so after clicking on the capture image it will capture the image and i am showing this image to our image view now you can notice that after capturing the camera after capturing the image it automatically rotate this is a bug of camera view in our community toolkit we have to fix this by us so how to implement Xamarin Community Toolkit camera view in our application. So first we have to install the Community Toolkit package inside our application. So go to the solution and search for Xamarin Community Toolkit. And I already installed this Xamarin Community Toolkit, the latest version in our application in our both project PCL Android and iOS project. So after installing the Xamarin Community Toolkit, you have to give the permission hardware permission so uh, here i am giving the hardware permission to the android manifest file so here you have to set the camera permission and second is record audio permission so the without camera permission your camera view will not show the camera and record audio is useful for capturing the video from the camera view so if you do not set the record audio permission then you cannot capture the video that's it now how to implement it so in our pcl project i already have a view of camera view page and this camera view page we have to use the namespace of xamarin community toolkit here so after using this namespace here i am using the camera view so you can notice that i give the name as xd camera view and that here is a property called capture mode this camera view will do two things one is capture the image and capture the video okay and this is the media capture event that will fire after capturing the image and after capturing the video okay so nothing now uh, this is my uh, image viewer and this button for closing the uh, closing the image viewer and this is few buttons that are helpful for capturing the image and capturing the video you can set it according to you okay so i am doing it simply so uh, you don't know, need to copy this so you can do it by yourself as your design okay so uh, now how can we capture the image and how can we capture the video so i have a button called capture image so once user click on capture image remember that when the camera view camera mode is photo then we can able to capture the photo when we want to capture the video then we have to change the capture mode as a video okay so now i am changing it again as a photo okay so after clicking on the capture image button we use the camera view name dot shutter function this shutter function will be helpful for capturing the image and also capturing the video so this when the photo mode uh, photo mode is set to the camera view then this shutter function will 
capture the image. So once we perform this shutter function, then automatically media captured function will be will fired. Okay, so using this event argument, we will get the according to the file. So if our capture mode is photo, then we will we will get e dot image. Okay, so this is an image source. If our capture mode is video, then we can get the e dot video file. Okay, this is the video file. You can also get the path from video dot file. Okay, from e dot video dot file, you will get the video path. If your capture mode is video if your capture mode is image then you can use e dot image for getting the image data and if you want image byte then you can use the image data this is, is a byte array you can process your byte array okay so for now i am using the image source only and second things you have to know so inside my camera view page i also have a button for recording start recording so before the start recording we have to change the camera view capture mode from photo to video so how to do that we have to set the capture mode here so we are using xct dot camera view dot capture mode is capture mode dot video okay so when we set the capture mode video then then this shutter com function will start the video start capturing the video once we stop the video using our button then also we can call this shutter function so once video is recording and then we call the shutter function it will automatically stop the video so you can notice that only this shutter function will be helpful for controlling everything like capturing the image and capturing the video and stop the video okay so only this shutter command once this shutter command is completed it will automatically fire the media capture event and based on this event argument you can set the data and the important things you have to remember that as i already told you that the image view the camera view provides us the wrong image rotation this is a bug of xamarin community toolkit i don't know when they will fix it but you have for now if you use the camera view you have to do it by yourself so if you capture the image you will get the image output as a 180 degree angle so you have to rotate it by yourself using the custom renderer and also when you capture the video you will get the output as a 180 degree angle so again you have to rotate it to the 90 degree using your custom code okay so how to do it and i will show you in the next video so if you have any confusion you can comment below you will get this source code from github and the link is given to the description so if you have any query comment below so thank you for watching have a great day